is not like we're gonna get into a whole like dating show type series or you know dating advice type stuff or like just regular advice in general um this this one right here though this show right here this this show's wild bro <laughs> dumb wild but let's get into the video let's get it cracking two films I'm 27 miles shagging last night in I didn't even know what he said. I'm not even gonna hold you. I didn't even know what he said. DMs, dating apps, I don't have time for that. I don't believe you should kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. I believe in grilling them. I'm gonna be going on a series of dates to find who can really wow me. This is grilling. My name is Aiden Liam Henry, and I'm here to look for a beautiful wife. Because I'll just back her up and put her in her place, what do you mean? I've never been on a first date, like, go sit down and boom, bam, and talk about certain things. I just go straight to the see me. <laughs> I'm acting, you know what I mean? Yeah, you see how I fight, yeah? You know I'm ready. Gonna go fight, yeah. Come on, baby girl. <laughs> You said beautiful, you okay? I'm good, thank you. What's your name? My name's Aidan Henry. Oh. How are you? Cheyenne. Cheyenne. I ain't gonna lie, she doing the dress, you know. She doing the dress. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Painting, oh my god. I'm a bit shy now, still like it a lie. You shy? Yeah. Don't, don't let her know, bro. If you shy, don't let her know. Come on, man. Number one mistake. I shy. wasn't expecting him to be shy, you know. Today, I'm going to be rating you out of 10 yeah. on how good the date goes. Because I just kind of find like men just waste my time, tell lies, sell the dream. I'm looking for a real man. I'm definitely a man. Yeah? I've been a man from a young age. What makes you a man from a young age? Responsibilities, like no right from wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The emotional intelligence. Mm. So, where are you from? I'm originally from rugby, but I moved to Coventry. So I was on a mad case, but I've been there ever since. What do you do? I'm a professional boxer. Yeah. Your arms are nice and ripped. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like a big man because you fight for a living? <laughs> Did she just ask him, does he feel like a big man? Knowing his stature. Okay, listen to what she just said. Do you feel like a big man because you box? Knowing his stature, bro, she has no chill. Just in general, I can stand my ground. I don't fear nothing. Congratulations on your victory, by the way. Thank you very so much. So, should we do a cheers? Of course. Cheers to the next one, 19th of December. Hopefully, I'll see you there, yeah? Maybe. Said, if the day goes well, yeah. you might see me there. So, I like that confident energy you got there. Can you bring it to me? Forget about the day and we'll see what happens. What will happen? You tell me if I'm confident. What do you do for fun? Obviously, I like riding motorbikes, fast cars. So you're wild then? Yeah. You're wild crazy. in the bedroom? Of course, you might. Yeah. You know, somebody think trunk in a. Is it? What? Really? Three legs. So for a little guy, you've got big dick energy, yeah? All oh, right. Okay. Why do you think I've got so much confidence? Because no girl can say nothing to me. Yeah. You're looking I'm quite confident. shy, eh? Yeah, I'm shy because you're a beautiful, attractive woman and you try to stick it. Stop telling, bro. She know that, bro. Stop telling her. Just, just stop. You don't have to tell her, bro. <laughs> you don't have to tell her. Stop telling her. She knew, bro. She knew. She not supposed to know that you're telling her that. <laughs> Listen, when you sit in that hot seat, you have to take a grill in. Come not going shy on me. So, would you say you're romantic? <laughs> Why is this girl asking me so much mad questions? He's sticking on me like, yo, it's crazy. Have you got anyone on the go at the moment? Trailer load. Sorry? A trailer load means a whole heap of girls. So you're dating multiple women? No, I'm not dating a lot of women. So you're having sex with multiple women? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in a relationship. I just want to know how single. you move, though. You, listen, you're single. You yeah. can do... But if I like you, I'll lock up everything. 
Would you do that yeah, if you liked a woman? Yeah, of course I would. I want to do that. Have you ever cheated? Yeah, once. Mm. And I was once. Good, when I was young, I haven't cheated on myself, so I won't do it again because it's not nice. It's not a nice feeling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, not nice. You live and you learn, isn't it? I like and that. I learn from my mistakes. When was the last time you had sex? Three days ago, two days ago. Do you have sex a lot? <laughs> you do, didn't you? I'd be like, why you want to know? Hmm? Why you want to know? You're not even dating yet. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, why you want to know my body count? Yeah, got too much energy, man. You know me, I press gas, man. Stallion. Is it like with the same person, or do you just have a different girl every for a different day of the week? No, 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 no. Are you sure? <laughs> it depends on it. Depends on? How I feel. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling very shy. That's right, I don't bite though. No, I'm not scared. Are you sure? You're just attractive in it and you're sticking Third out, time he said that. You should be talking like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I thought he was going to come out and be a bit just like cocksure, but he seems really humble. So do you want a submissive woman that asks nothing? No, no, no. Just sits there? Nah. You sure? Yeah. How tall are you? Do you mind me Four foot five. Do you find it hard to get women? Because I know us <laughs> women can be shallow. No, because I've got confidence in it. But you know me, I'm usually the person that sticks it under in it. But you're sticking it at me. To, 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 to get a woman, you know what I'm saying? First of all, it don't matter what height you are or what weight you are, or you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all about the confidence you have in yourself. And you know what I'm saying, and with the energy you give off, that's literally what it comes down to. You know what I'm saying. But just think, like, not every woman's gonna want you, bro. Not everybody's gonna want. You know what I'm saying. Everybody, like, it's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying. But you'll find somebody. You know what I'm saying. You'll give off that confidence, and you'll reciprocate that energy. You know what I'm saying. And just because she's on this date, you know what I'm saying, with her. He might not even want her like that, you know what I'm saying? He might he might not like the way she talk or whatever. So it's always the same thing. Like, find somebody who's just good for you, you know? I saw everybody that was shouting like, what am I going to do? <laughs> Go on. Why don't yeah. you stick it on me then? I'll stay quiet. Stick it on me. No, no, no. You, 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 sure? you, I thought you, you were confident. You, I have. You mashed up the whole thing right now. Have I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> tough in the ring, but not tough in front of a woman. What's it like being a parent? It's something different, isn't it? I've always wanted to have my own child, you know what I mean? Because I've never had no parents. I've obviously been through that mad life, but yeah. I'm a good dad to my child, innit? That's and good. She's beautiful, man. She's respect, respect, respect. Minute, so. I don't know what it is about men that are fathers, but it makes them more attractive when they're actually present in their kid's life. Do you think fatherhood has changed you in any way? Yeah, because obviously everything in life is like what I get or get any like if I get money, it's not for me no more. It's like no, oh, I can go shopping and say, yo, bam, I've got, I've got to think about my daughter, think about what she needs. Facts, I agree with future. that. I agree with that. Hundred percent. Have you ever suffered with mental health? Yeah, stress, depressed, all of that. Yeah, like anxiety <clears throat> when you can't leave the house. And... No, I don't feel like. Have you never had that? No. Oh, don't. I, I get anxiety bad. Is it yeah, sometimes I can't leave the house. Oh, bless you. Yeah, it's really, really bad. For real? Yeah, we all go through things. I can't leave the yard. Yeah, that's that's good Just cool liquor, man, man. I'll wake you up, man. <laughs> I'll make you feel better. How would you make me feel better? You need some jokes here. Yeah, give you some banter. Banter, good. Some make you smile, innit? Make you laugh. I'm not diagnosed with anything, so I don't ever got mental health. But I reckon so. Yeah, but just because you're not diagnosed with anything, like, have you ever felt, like, depression? Yeah. Like, suicide yeah. or anything like that? Saying it, maybe, yeah. Suicide, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I've said it a couple of times. I was myself. But really? Never. I don't I'd never do that. How do you deal with like getting out of that kind of mental state? Just gotta be around good people. You know what I mean? It's yeah, important, it's crazy. isn't it? Yeah. Have you ever had like a complex being like a shorter guy? I'm a bit aggy, if you know. Oh what yeah, mean. so it's like little yeah. man syndrome. That's yeah. the thing. But that's it's... through what I've been through, innit? So it's not oh. through your height, it's just genuinely through your life experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, if I was looking in it and I look at them I'm like, what are you looking at? Then look, they just look down. That was it. If you see a normal sized person, oh, it's a normal sized person. See a small person, like. Yeah. Keep following the person. Does it affect you nah, mentally? Not anymore. Not anymore. So it did at one nah, point. Yeah, of course. I used to get annoyed. I used to want to beat up people in it. But yeah. I've grown out of it. Like I said, I'm mature now. Big 27. You know what I'm saying? You know who you are as a person. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, now yeah. it's like, no, nah, Joe. You know he needs to give himself more credit. You know what he's got to do it now. It's the kids. Yeah. <laughs> the kids. How old are you? 
<laughs> this. I laugh though. How but do you respond to children doing it? Because you can't No, of course, I, I tell them, I say, I'm not your dad, but I'm the small. They're like, no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. How do you like educate people? Because the correct, what's the correct term? The contraplacer, that's the proper name for it. Okay, educate me. So what do you want to know about it? I don't know, I, I just feel like I'm really, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but I'm really ignorant to it. Yeah. Because for me, like you're the first person that I've met that- really small. What's the tallest woman you've dated? Normal size. Normal size, but I mean like, have you ever dated never, like, no a woman way. that's like six foot? I've never been with a small person. Really? Since I've been famous, I've only been around little people. But before that, before I come out of general, I was mm -hmm. famous. I've never been around small people. I've been around grown people all my life. That's why I've got so much confidence and, you know what I mean? I'm just normal. That's why when everyone sees me, they, they come at it. I don't see the command as a small person. I see him as a normal person because how he pulls himself. You know what I mean? But when I see little bitches and I'm looking at them, like, you see, it, it baffles me sometimes and it? it makes me feel a bit weird. Yeah. Because I'm not used to it because I've never seen them in it. When I see them, they're good, man. They're good, man. But they don't have enough confidence in how I do. But. That's just their, their minute. Yeah, everyone's on their own journey. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's, let's continue the video. What's your body count? You have I'm to make eye contact and actually say it, because I feel like you're going to lie. Give me a number. Give me, I don't know how many people you've Just ring off some numbers, innit? I don't know, mate. And I'll say Bro. Yeah, 50? Right. 100? Less or more? More. More? You're active, active. I'm 27, man. 200? Two, three hundred. I'm 27, man. I was shagging when I was 13. And you're single? No, I am, yeah. <laughs> Active. Active. Come on, man. I'm 27, man. I was shagging when I was 13, man. It's adding numbers up, innit? Did prison teach you anything? Damn. Like, everyone's got their own age they get to and they start saying, yo, enough's enough, innit? I was in jail. I was up jail like four years when I was 2017 and I was in there till 2019. And obviously, I come out famous, so. Nah, that's crazy. Before, if I didn't come out famous, I'll probably be back in jail right now. You know what I mean? Because I've got nothing to come out for. You know what I mean? So I've got, I come out, got famous, and obviously I thought to myself, I've got opportunity to change my life right now. So why would I go do my silly stuff I used to do before to put myself back in there? It don't make sense, you know what I mean? So let me just give this a shot and see how it goes in life, innit? And right now, this is the longest I've stayed out of jail in my whole life. That's amazing. You know what I mean? I've done 10 years behind the door, all, not all together. But back in, back, in, and back and forth, back and forth. About 10 years behind the door, you know what I'm saying? Nice. And obviously, don't get twisted. I want tell anyone to go to prison or follow me or follow anyone who's doing anything. Stay on the right path, go get a job. And, like, I mean, do something successful in it. I like that. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. I like your mentality. Oh, hey, this guy's got substance, you know. There's definitely more than he's letting on. What do you look for in a woman? Coca-Cola bottle, big back, and beautiful face, nice personality, beautiful teeth, you got a beautiful smile. That's very kind of you. You have really nice eyes. Thank you very much. Have you looked at my boobs whilst we've been here? You've got them out in it, so you want to see them. You want everyone to see them in it, because if it wasn't, it'd be zip up. Can we zip it up? Nah, just leave it like how it is, innit? But I, I've seen them now, innit? It's just there, innit? <laughs> you know what I mean? What got you into fighting? I've come from a crazy background. I've always been fighting from a young age. So when I was a bit a bit aggressive, because um, I didn't have that fa father figure, I was a bit like, mm -hmm. so yeah. everyone used to say, because I'm aggressive, like, why don't you just put my aggressive into something useful? So I started doing boxing, and obviously mm. I've done successful through the boxing. It keeps me strong, fit, healthy, and I'm ready for anything that comes in my way, you know what I'm saying? Oh, when I was young, I've always had someone to say, oh, you can't do that, you yeah. can't do this, you can't do this. So I'm a prover, I'll prove my point, I can do it. If I can do it, anyone could do it, you know what I mean? Do Facts, like respect, you? respect, respect. Yeah. I've had some crazy women, yeah. You know what it is? Women are very curious about how big my penis is, isn't it? Yeah, I am curious. Yeah, and I'll tell you, if one, if, if, I don't need to lie. It's got a big too, isn't it? Is it big though, or just like, it looks big because you're shorter? It's big, isn't it? Why don't you find out after? Huh? <laughs> I'd have been like, well, I really want to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, after the show, you know what I'm saying? Might hit the spot here. Okay. That wall. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. She liked that. She on his body. I actually really want to know how big his dick is. You don't get a lot of small people, so they're, just, they're curious about what do you reckon, how do you reckon, how do you reckon his dick would be? Big, small, long, bendy, sidewards. But little didn't they know, man's got the tripod like the camera, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, big and strong. 
What advice would you give your younger self? Don't follow people. Don't get drawn in. Yeah. Um, just keep it humble and just be yourself. Yeah, facts, facts, and Don't facts. be shy to say no. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what it is. Uh, when I was growing up, obviously, this little, this person what done their mad shit to me, he had me, like, wrapped around my finger in it. It was crazy. You know, and if he said jump, I'd say how high. Yeah. Because I was scared to say no. Okay, I don't know, it was just weird. I don't know how I got round, how I got to that situation, but it was just mad. Well, like, he used to make me go shop. I didn't want to go shop. I meant to go do this, do things I didn't want to do. It was mad. Yeah. But, but I know other kids out there in that situation as well, so don't feel afraid to say no, innit? What would you say is your biggest failure? Taking people's things I shouldn't be taking. Like, breaking into someone's home, taking their stuff. That's not me, innit? Like, I'd never do that right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've done it because... My mum never had given me money. I had to do it to wear nice clothes, to fit in with my peoples. And it was just mad, but that's my biggest regret, like hurting people, making people come home and see their things, properties gone, because I would like that for myself, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Hurt people hurt people, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice to see that yeah, the way you crazy. just like, turned your life around, but also like you come with a message, because it's really easy to sit and yeah. say this. But when like people can preach anything all yeah, day long, but trap their shit. they if you can't resonate with people, then people don't want to hear it. But yeah. I feel like your story, like it's you, that's your experience yeah. and it's happened. Yeah. You can have my passcode. Can you let me have your phone passcode? If me and you was together and I actually liked you and it was like a fully thing, you can go through my phone because there's nothing to hide. It was just a little thing that I was seeing a girl for a week. She ain't going on my phone, going on my phone for what? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I was with you consistently for the whole month. Of course, that must be my girl, it must be my girl then, isn't it? Okay. I must like you as a person. <laughs> Booty play, what are you on about? What's your card? Play a matty. Take it anywhere you want. <laughs> nah, bitchin'. I say yes, because I like a massage. No girl can fuck up my matty. Would you stick it in mine? Yeah. Say yes then. I don't know. How you gonna fuck your ass. Why she asked that though? First you wanna know how big his, you know what I'm saying? Then you talking about would you stick it in mind? Like he he cheesing hard right now because he like you wanna find out like like the show about the end. <laughs> she she got she blushing. I've never sucked a toe in my life. No? I ain't got a problem with feet, but no feet are better in my mind. Facts, they would never, not even happening. Oh, I'll massage your foot, but I won't, right. I won't suck it. I'm gonna say, yeah, look at that toe, mm, big toe. <laughs> no chance. No chance? No, no, no. Oh, I've got a pedicle just for you. That, that wasn't funny. Would be prepared to be a stay-at-home father and let me be the breadwinner? So you could cook. You stay at home and cook, clean, mm. raise the kids. That's the female's job. You're the mother. Oh, I'm the you man. can't say it's the female's job. Of course it is. I'm the man who brings the money to the table. So I've got to go out there and graft. So when I come home, my food on the blood clot table. Okay. You understand? So you want to be the breadwinner? Yeah. What if I want to be the one that goes out and makes money? No, it's not. That's no. never for a girl, though. It's the 21st century. Women, we are securing the bag now. You can be the stay-at-home husband. If I had kids, it wouldn't be like that, because you'd be looking after the kids. OK, so you're alpha. I, yeah, of course I'm alpha. I'm a lion. See it now? Lion, yeah? Chest now. Oh, OK. Uh -huh. Quite ripped, isn't it? Of course. A rip for you. For me, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. I don't know. Men, I feel like men usually. Certain men do, but you know what it is. But what about my body count then? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, this is what I'm saying. Finally, a man that comes with the same energy. One rule for one, one for another. It don't make sense. If you ain't beaten none of my bread chins, yeah, I don't give a. F no, because I think it's an image thing. That's why. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. She's trying to bear a man. So what? What that mean? Every like you bear pussy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like this. Do you think that, like, since having a daughter, though, like, your mindset's changed with how you treat women? Damn right, you're mad. My ex-relationship was a bit crazy, like, they're arguing that. That was what I used to have when I was a young kid, and now I've got it now with my daughter. I have to cut that out. I'm Absolutely. not on that. Because imagine when my daughter grows up and she, she's heard it from home, so she goes to her, when she gets to her age, to her teenager age, she finds a boyfriend she likes, yeah. and the next minute, mama tries to slap her. Yeah, you I'll have to set I'll, the standard. I'll catch an M, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not a thing like that. It's my baby girl, you can't be doing them things. Have two girls, three girls to f the shit out of me. Try really? to anyway. I think you might be a sub, you know. What's a sub? Submissive. No. You sure? But you said you want women to f you. Yeah, but you know what I'm on about. Me and three know. gal, and let's go ham. Maybe more. I don't care. I'm not shy. I'm not care. I'm not <laughs>
I was manhandled everything. Listen, I've had threesomes here where men. He's a mad man. Because they're, they're laughing that much. Yeah, I'm just putting in the work. Big man. I go on gangbangs with them. They're like, they just sit there laughing. They're itching their head. Because my bum is going to take it. Yo, no, when I press it. trigger blood, I'm telling you, it's a matter. Yeah? This this be a walk. They're baffled how I just get down, innit? They're, they're fascinated at the same time because my team's big and they're like, they feel maybe a bit shy at the same time because my team's probably bigger than theirs. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm putting shift in, they're like, well, they're laughing because we're boys, innit? You know what I mean? You know, trust me, my kids laugh. I've been on a Mazda. I've been on a Mazda. My bedroom's there laughing, bending up, and I'm just back shot in the gal. Crazy. <laughs> how big can his dick really be? Just remember, I got mad. She, yo, Imagine me she really want to know, though. No lie, she on his body, bro. My y'all, I can show you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, after the show. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. She on his body hard. You got me. You understand? Okay. All right. Yo, that's face. Bro, we don't want no. We don't want what you're selling. My head game is ten ten. Really, is your mouth game strong? It's strong, your fuck. Your head game ten ten too. It's all right. Humble. <laughs> I don't think my tinker fit in that mouth. You imagining Open your dick wide. in my mouth? I'm you definitely at, I'm are. I'm just looking at you with a small mouth in it. I was thinking, it may fit in it. <laughs> Do you like a dominant woman? Yeah. Would you let me dominate you? Would you mean dominate me? Yeah. Would What's you? that? Like in the bedroom. I'm me in charge. I'm really? You wear the trousers and you wear the blouse. Shy could definitely not dominate me. I'm the dominator. I'd love to see him try to dominate me. What would you do if I slept with two of your friends? She really meant that too. Am I lying? Am I lying, chat? It's in the past. Are you staying with me? I'll probably press gas on you and cut. Really? Yeah. Can't you just look off your friends for me? Nah. Why? Cause I'm the one though. Is it? Yeah. If I was the one and I'd slept with two of your friends, would you lock them off mm -mm. for the love of your life? No. No. And they're the ones that are ready to ride for me, innit? They're the ones that are going to do anything, anything for me, innit? No, listen, no one rides harder than a woman in love. Trust me. Is it? Mm -hmm. Are you going to love now? No. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? No. No, no. no, I can't have OnlyFans. Of course not. Why? Because it's mine, innit? Really? Yeah. So it's not my body, my choice? So why would you make money by selling your body? Why not? So it's an that's industry, a, that's a, that's it's a, a profession. Drug, that's a drugs thing. What's mine is mine, not for everyone else to see. You know what I'm saying? So whatever's in her underwear, in her back, in her front, in her up, top, bottom, that's all mine, innit? If she wants to go do her thing and put herself out there, go be it. That's her, that's her in it on her own, not me. So no to OnlyFans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course no to OnlyFans. But I don't understand why it's such an issue. Of course like, it is. If you've got a boyfriend, why are you selling your blood for that body? It's not really, it's just an industry, isn't it? It don't matter. If you want to go sell your body, you be single, innit? Why? Do you think it would affect your ego? No, it's not like the man. It's like, why is next man looking at my girl's things? Because I'm making money. It don't matter. Now, nah, Bridget. The girl's lost there. Man. <laughs> what would you do if I wanted to involve other people in our sex life? <laughs> I don't know, it's a bit weird. Is it weird? Never, yeah, because I've never had it. But really? What if I was it, like, babe, I really want a threesome? Yeah, well, if, you was my, if I liked you, I know that wouldn't happen. No, no threesomes. No. Nothing. With your friend, maybe, but no. No, friend's like I'm, the worst choice. No, I'm mine. Like, what do you think I'm mine? Why would it be mine? my bridge is coming for fuck out of you. That's no, all. So, so why is my friend okay? It'd have to be like a. It, no, it's not going to be a boy. It could be a girl, but not a man. I'd rather just knock a nail on the head and say, nah, you're just mine, and if you want to have a threesome, be single, innit? Like, Keep that right me. No, because I've never had that, that that thing, so I can't say it's a bit weird. Yeah. If I liked you, it wouldn't happen. No. Okay. What would you do if your friends are liking all my selfies? I'll stick it on them. Will you? Yeah, of course I would. Why would they, why are they putting my girl's things? Why not? Yeah, I facts. Me. Like, why would I help you? So you wouldn't like it? Why is my bridge looking at my girl's things for? Support. Support what? Support what? No, darling. No, don't you want to see me be great? <laughs> no, it's nothing to do with that. Yeah, but what if your so girl's 10-10? It doesn't matter if she's 10-10. It's no. a standard. Listen, when you get with a girl that's 10-10, everyone's going to like it. Yeah, budget. of course. But I'm just saying, as my brother knows, that's my thing. That's it. Don't look upon her. You can mm -hmm. look upon her, chat to her, whatever, and keep it mutual. But go with any private like, liking pictures and that. That's a bit taking a piss off. I'm a prick. 
Yeah. Like, especially with my friend, but you're liking my girl's thing. So now we knew about a problem, you know what I mean? Yeah. That part run, man. Yeah, no violations. Yeah, man, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that, bro. What would you do if I didn't give head? Nah, I'm not, I'm not really a head guy, innit? Really? What if the mouth game's, like, strong? You can be strong, but I like to throw all my babies in your belly. <laughs> what would you do if I went to prison? Of course, I could visit, yeah. yeah would you, course. like, sleep with other people, though? It depends how long you got. Two years. What? Two years is a very long time, 24 months. That way, if I was in love. It's a long time for someone not to get their thrill, mate. Let me tell you. You yeah. can be the sexiest girl, you can be the, with the baddest man. It don't mean nothing. When a girl wants mate, the girl's gonna get If I If I fuck madly in love with you and you're my kid's mom, maybe, but. Yeah. Do you think social media has ruined love yeah, and happy social media relationships? Is all the image. It's all the image. Right. Yeah. Like you see man with big chains and you think they're balling. Yeah. They're not balling, mate, because it's their next man's chains or... Do you ball yeah. on Instagram? I did. When I come out of prison, Bouncy used to take me to the jewellers and say, get this chain. Next minute, two weeks ago, the chain vanished. So basically, I was just to make the Instagram look good. You get me? Fake it for the gram. Yeah, fake it for the gram, but... I've, I've, had, I've, had, I've had jewels, I've had my own shit, but... Jewels don't mean nothing to me no more, because, you know what I mean, I've been there, I've done that. You know, I ain't got my house yet, so I'm not happy. <laughs> bro, I got a, 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 a freaking chakra necklace, bro. Come on, man. Like, that shit corny. That whole jewelry, like, that shit yeah. corny, bro. I'm saying, I ain't got my goals yet. I've achieved. How do you think you've done on the date today? Shit. Shit? Yeah. Why? Because he's still killing me. That's why. I don't even know what to He should have said, he should have said, I think I did 10 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? Don't matter what you give me. We can meet up after the show since you want to know how, how things are going down under. You know what I mean? Frankly, it was my thing. It was just like, oh. <laughs> oh, my dimples, everything was coming out. It was like. Dimples cute, though. Thank you. You want to go for another date with no cameras? Let me know, innit? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, it was a good date, you know. I'm surprised. I love a man with Thank you. Oh, let me see what she said. I underestimated him. The date was a bit mad because obviously she's stuck in her mind. Yeah. 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 No, we took the grinning okay. A little shy. Second date's on the card. I feel like I needed him to just to be a little bit more alpha. I felt like I was dominating him a little too much for my liking. Nah, the grinning was lightweight, man. I'm anything, man. I'll chat about anything. I don't care. But she stuck it on me, though. Don't get twisted. I was shy to fuck. He ticked a lot of boxes, like, like an honest man, someone that can open up, the fact that he's a good dad, and that he's humble. However, I just need man just to dominate me that little bit more you know don't underestimate her mate don't make it don't make that beautiful face for you mate do you know what i wouldn't say no to a second date i feel if if he can come through with the alpha energy maybe i, got, I reckon i got a six or seven yeah yeah it's not bad i don't care i'm gonna give him a 7.5 Well, that's another video. She gave him a seven. He 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 start, he he should have really just don't even if you're nervous, don't say you're nervous, bro. Like don't even, don't even do that, bro. But you know what I'm saying? He low key, she low key was on his body though. Like low key, she was on his body. But always be confident. Always have confidence on your dates. Always have confidence when you're meeting people, even talking to your friends or whatever. Just sit back, relax, and just take you know flow with the conversation. But y'all know what time it is, man. It's your boy Prince Riley, and I'm out. Peace.